was hard work. I've taken those nerds to a ball game and they wanted to be sure to know how to do the wave. Hi, I'm Dr. Baseball, Einstein of the National Pastime. Baseball's a wonderful game if you want to learn something about waves. Did you notice as the wave traveled through the stands, the fans only moved up and down. Whenever the waving stuff, the fans move one way and the wave moves perpendicular to that, it's called a transverse wave. This is the spring wave from Arbor Scientific. You can see the wave travel just like it does through the stands. Look at the wave in slow motion. Look, I put a piece of orange tape in the middle of the spring wave. Now if I send a wave along the spring wave, the orange tape will bob up and down. This is exactly like the wave traveling through the crowd, but the fans only move up and down. Let's see that in slow motion. The orange tape goes up and down as the waves travel by. Waves have a lot to say about how well a ball gets hit. Watch the wave travel up the bat when I hit the bat on the barrel. Watch the wave travel from the barrel up to the handle. Whoa, that had to hurt! Have you ever felt the sting of hitting the ball off the end of the bat? Man, the vibrations in the bat just hurt your hands. That video is so amazing, we need to see it again. It takes energy to get those vibrations in the bat, energy that could be used to make the ball go further. So the trick is to make sure that the bat hits the ball at a place where there are few vibrations. That's called the sweet spot. But that's a topic for another video. This is Dr. Baseball waving goodbye and saying never be afraid to take a swing at physics.